the larger vessel. So, mm -hmm. and you got discipline asking if you say boat mm -hmm. uh, when you were looking at the ship. Mm -hmm. But we got through that canal, mm -hmm. and uh, I had to go over the side again and paint the areas that were scraped. And after that, I got they sent me down to the communication division. Okay. And uh, so you have a picture there of the communication division. Yes, yeah. that's oh yes, right. This is the whole thing. I'm right. Oh, I'm, right. I'm right there. Okay, let's see. Right. And this is why you own the ship. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. All right. This heavy. This don't want it to fall apart. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> and uh, uh, mm -hmm. so then uh, we stopped in Hawaii, Pearl Harbor. Okay. Let me let me ask you know doing 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 the ship because you had you did you did you have any, any bouts of seasickness any or, what any any cases of seasickness or feeling oh, uncomfortable no, on the water no. on the water and that stuff no, that ship is so big it's, mm -hmm. it's like a city that uh, mm -hmm. uh, I'll tell you that, that when we get there mm -hmm. on the way back from Korea I'll tell you what happened okay. it's the only time. Uh, where sailors get shipped when you when you since they wouldn't let us back through the canal mm -hmm. we had to uh, go down below South America and that's that is storm after storm after storm mm -hmm. um, whenever a hurricane would come up we would race to the eye and just would since you had radar they just follow along until the hurricane subsided but we'd be right in the eye, and that's strange in the eye of a hurricane. It's, it's just as, it looked like you could walk off the ship and walk on the water. That's how calm it is in the eye of a hurricane. But uh, uh, we had to come back down through below South America, and that ship was uh, that ship was going every which normally that ship doesn't move. Ship does this as well as this. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we got down through there, the storms hit. And we had what when that happens, we have an hour on, hour off, mm -hmm. hour on, hour off, because mm -hmm. everybody's just about seasick, sure. in, including the captain. But normally, sailors don't get seasick and, oh. and just a normal toss of water. But okay. down there, it's so severe that, uh, and over an extended period of time, mm -hmm. uh, it's hard not to. It's hard, uh, matter of fact, you don't even want to eat. And you, when you uh, get into sea like that, right, but, right, um, right. yeah. Okay. Now, now we're back. Uh, you, you were just recently assigned to the sea, the sea, the sea division, sea communication division. division it's communication called. Division. Mm -hmm. All right. What was the what? The, what was that like once you got into that? Well, like I said, they were supposed to send me to radio school so that uh, I would learn Morse code and uh, teletype because you you. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to be able to type 30 or more words a minute because mm -hmm. uh, when you're receiving Morse code, then you have to send Morse code. Uh, it, it comes in at 30 or 35 words a minute. And uh, you can't make a mistake in wartime because mm -hmm. uh, it's in code and they've got a code room right there in the, in the radio division right down there, the communication. Mm -hmm. And only officers can have that, that uh, 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 decoding machine mm -hmm. that only them can can uh, mm -hmm. uh, use. Sure. Yeah. But okay. uh, the rest of us, the radio men down there, we receive, as you can see here, mm -hmm. uh, we receive uh, during wartime, we have eight hours on, eight hours off, right around the clock. And uh, uh, you are constantly uh, taking messages from, from uh, uh, say from Tokyo or wherever they are sending messages mm -hmm. and telling the uh, captain mm -hmm. uh, what to do. And you ask about food, the radio, uh, we, uh, during the Korean War, uh, we would have the uh, uh, fleet commander. We were what is called a flagship. Oh. So that meant that the fleet commander, and sometimes I think one of the naval commanders was in charge of the whole Korean War, mm -hmm. and the radio division got attached to the Admiral. And that meant two things. We got better food than anybody else. We had fresh eggs. Yeah, and 
powdered eggs is not mine. But we had fresh eggs and, and, and good food because we were attached to the admiral when he come on board. Mm -hmm. And then when we would uh, uh, have shore leave, mm -hmm. we got off the ship an hour or two before everybody else because we were attached to the admiral. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, when I was in the communication division, I didn't know anything. So I had to teach myself. Mm -hmm. And so I spent my days and nights because, like I said, you're, you have eight hours on, eight hours off, right around the clock. Mm -hmm. And so I had to teach myself Morse code. I had to teach myself how to type. I had to teach myself about uh, a teletype uh, because, you know, the civilian population didn't have teletype back then, just the uh, Navy and the services. Mm -hmm. And so we had teletype and, uh, and so I had to teach myself uh, both how to uh, receive mm -hmm. and how to send mm -hmm. more scope. Mm -hmm. And uh, by the time we got to Korea, I had learned it all. Oh, did you uh, did you have any so-called on the, I, I guess it was like on the job training but did you have anybody helping you assisting you no they the have country? they have uh, they had coming from uh, 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 one of the stations they had uh, 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 Morse code that you could just sit down and that's how I learned it I would sit down for hours after hours and listen to mm -hmm. uh, the Morse code, and I, I picked it up. Okay. And uh, then we have the uh, the key, and uh, I learned how to send it as well. Okay. And uh, like I said, you see a bunch of radio men when we would go on shore leave or something. You'd see us. We'd take the spoons and practice uh, a Morse code with the spoons. Oh, okay. uh, but uh, for the most part, they sent people to radio school. They just didn't do it for me. So, right, right. Uh, okay. so I had to learn it on my own. Okay. And so by the time I got to uh, Korea, I was pretty good. How, how long did it take you to get to Korea from Norfolk, from, from when you first started out? You remember? Oh, uh, boy, about two weeks, I guess, something. Because okay. we stopped in Hawaii as well. Okay. okay. And. Uh, we're in a hurry since it had already, when the uh, Korean War first broke out, mm -hmm. it had gone to Korea once and we were going a second time. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wasn't in the service the first time, mm -hmm. but we were going uh, to Korea 52, 53. We were over there several months. Uh, uh, when we, by the time I got to Korea, I was. Uh, Quite capable of okay. receiving okay. and sending uh, Morse code. Okay. So uh, I learned it pretty quick. Sure. On my okay. own. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So what was the, once you got to Korea? What did you do then? Uh, well, uh, when we got to Korea, boy, that Korea was cold. Mm. It is. We got there in the snow. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, since I said we did eight hours eight off, mm -hmm. um, I didn't see the sunlight for a while because uh, I was taking, you know, your eight hours on these phones, mm -hmm. taking Morse code or sending messages that the admiral mm -hmm. or the captain of the ship is sending back to the United States. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I only went up topside once or twice, and that's when I saw all that snow and how cold it was. Uh, but uh, we're about, how many decks down? We're four or five decks down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, uh, because you have this eight hours on, eight hours off around the clock, mm -hmm. uh, about all you did is work and sleep, work and sleep. Okay. So, um, uh, didn't do much, except we went up both sides of Korea and pounded uh, um, and so we, we had a we had a helicopter on board and, and uh, mm -hmm. when we uh, would fire these 16 inch guns those things it, they make a, 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 a hole bigger than this library mm -hmm. and uh, what happened is that they wanted to know the damage. See, we were well above the uh, main line of resistance, the MLR. Mm -hmm. uh, we were behind in North Korea, really. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were firing uh, 
on targets that the, the helicopter